overhead cross smash. In this video, I'm going to make you achieve to be able to smash on your backhand side, which is overhead smash. The purpose of a cross smash that will be mentioned in a forehand cross smash video. So I want you to just guide you into how to make your overhead smash stronger, accurate, and successful so you can implement the overhead cross smash in your games. Number one, footwork. Most people struggling with the overhead side is because of footwork. So here, I want to share with the overhead smash footwork. I'm going to break it down five steps. Step number one, non-racket foot step small step to the back. Step number two, racket foot push and rotate your lower and upper body. Step number three, non-racket foot do one hop step to the back. Make sure it's do one hop step. Step number four, racket foot jump up and do the scissor kick. Step number five, non racket foot push back and do the follow up step. Number two, turn your upper body and then rotate forward. Overhead here are tricky part that there are two turning that you must do especially do the smash so your power will get more. One is before you hit a shot. And the other one is after you hit a shadow. In both situations, you only need to turn your body like I'm showing you here. Number three, elbow lead out. If you miss the number two, turn your upper body forward, then this part lead your elbow out will be hard. The reason is that elbow lead out is because your upper body rotate forward so it leads out your elbow naturally, which will help you be able to do it more smoothly on your motion and get more power with your overhead cross smash. Number four, grip. All right, for a smash grip, there are two different ways you can do. One is forehand grip, the other one is hammer grip. Forehand grip, your wrist needs to rotate a little bit so your index finger can push the racket face down when you contact the shoulders. But I would recommend you to apply hammer grip so your racket face will be more flat when you contact the shoulders and then power will generate more. Number five, wrist twist and power generation. When you contact the shuttle, then your finger will squeeze the grip a little bit and then rotate your wrist forward toward to the cross. 
Number six, upper body rotate forward to straight. This is really important to complete your whole motion properly. After you contact the shuttles, then you need to rotate your body and facing forward. So it will make you the motion will become more hard to read by your opponent. All right, this is an overhead cross smash. And make sure watch this over and over again because the repetition is how we learn. The more you understand the detail of this overhead cross smash, the more training will become more efficiently.